morning. It's the 3rd of April today and spring has definitely sprung. So many bulbs have appeared, um, lots of colour developing in the garden despite the terrible rain we've had for the last few weeks. Um, so much to show you. So here we go. I'm loving the way the honesty has just self-sown everywhere um, and is just popping up in random places. So I've got it in white and this lovely classic dark pink. Tulips have flowered three or four weeks early. This is Beau Amiable, a new one to me, but I'm about to flower. I try and check out the annuals every couple of days or when I get around to remembering about it. Checking that the netting's high enough, that they don't need pinching out and so on. The corn cockle have really come on. I now have a bed of snapdragons. Notice how pinching out the snapdragons has helped to stimulate side shoots for a bushier plant. I've replenished the bed of larkspur with plants I kept back in the greenhouse and the clary sage has coped quite well outside all winter too. On the other side, the nigella is looking a little bit sparse. I blame wet weather, slugs and pigeons. The cornflower, some of that needs pinching out. To pinch out, find the main stem and cut it back to just above a leaf node. This encourages bushier growth. And the Daucus has surprisingly made a bit of a uh, resurgence, so I'm very pleased. I've managed to make a start on my sweet pea arch. Pretty rustic, um, but we're getting there. I've just got these last two sections to do properly with the willow weaving. And I'm just about there, ready to plant up some sweet peas. So I'm really delighted with my ranunculus. Uh, they've been outside all winter. I know it's been pretty mild, but yeah, no sign of green fly. Um, and yeah, there's loads and loads of buds on these, so definitely the right decision this year. The Ami is nice and tall. The Gypsophila, Covent Garden is coping well. So is the Lavatera. take a look at how the alliums and perennials are and of course the greenhouses. I've never known such lush growth on the allium bed and just look at these muscari around the edge of the bed, love them. We've got the veronica which is an early flowering perennial, looking really lush. The sedum over there, polymonium. I've done some splitting and so I've got some new plants just there. The Lysomachia, showing its face now. Lots of Achillea the Pearl. Estrantia's been dealt with too. And then we've got Echinops down there and a Shasta Daisy as well. Time to have a look in the greenhouse. Well, this is my, my little preschool in here. So let me show you. Around. I really am tiptoeing around because I've got seedlings absolutely everywhere. So they usually germinate in the house or somewhere warm. Um, I've got a little tiny heat mat in the big greenhouse too. But as soon as they've germinated, I bring them down to 
to the little greenhouse. So this is some zinnia. They were sown on the 30th of March, so just a few days ago. And they've, as soon as they germinated, they've come down here. And when they're big enough to transplant, I pop them on into, or prick them out into these 40 cell modules, which seems to generally work pretty well for me. So most of the plants out here are definitely ready to, to plant out. They've hardened off, they've got a lovely root system. And um, yeah, when the weather dries up, I'll try and get some more of these out. So we've got cornflower hardening off, we've got calendula, basilia, clary sage, lots of different things here that I can plant out. The next stage after the nursery is the primary school. I could spend hours in here. So the ranunculus are okay. The outside ones are much better. I don't think I look after them very well in here. Orlea is starting to just about flower up. I and my succession sown, larkspur are in here and on the whole it tends to be the next phase plants which, the ne who, which will be ready to, to, to go out and harden off soon. These are pretty much there, not quite. Clary sage, chrysanthemum, hippie love child. Um, I've got some lovely cobea scandens saved seed. Sweet peas are all up here. I've got Persian cress and flax, a bit of auric there, some more Orlea and Ami. These sweet peas sown in early February are rooting up well. They'll be hardened off soon and planted out. And on the bottom layer, I've got all these lovely dahlias pre-sprouting. Uh, mainly for the benefit of my seed to vase course, um, although I will probably propagate a few myself. So these are ready for the weekend. Uh, we brought those out of storage probably a couple of months ago and they pre-sprouted where it's a bit warmer in my house and then I brought them out here. And as you can see, some of them have just taken off Right, let's have a look at the dahlias and the outside biennials. The foxglove are just doing absolutely fine. The Hesperus really started to get a bit too big and started bud budding up so as you can see I've actually been quite brutal and I've taken down and pinched out half the crop to delay flowering. I've pinched out the honesty too. The dahlias are well and truly under wraps still so I'll be checking those out in a few weeks time but they're just still sleeping. And the sweet william so far so good with the sweet william um, it's actually budding up really nicely could possibly do with a bit of support but no signs of any virus at the moment which i've had a problem with in previous years well thanks for watching the april garden tour please hit subscribe if you would like to be notified when the may garden tour is online and yeah follow how the garden changes over the months